I got a package. Oops. It's from Simon the Magpie. Simon the Mag. Simon the Magpie. 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 If you recall my video where I sampled the piano dropping from 20 feet, he's the guy who has pianos to drop from 20 feet. Let's find out what these things do. I'm a baby. Uh. Check. 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 Oh. Oh yes. Telephone. Microphone. All right. All right. All right. Boom. Hard to tell the quality of this, just listening through my speakers right here and, and hearing my own voice right here. But um, I guess we'll see in the video. <laughs> Was that clipping? Yeah. Uh, ah, uh, ah. That's fun. Do some lo-fi punk shows with this. <laughs> Telephone microphone. I don't think the bird does anything. Dismembered leg is a contact microphone. I feel like he should have put a compressor in it because it's got a pretty hard knee. Three of you got that. That's my knee. Okay, you can already hear as I just um, stroke the thigh. Ooh. What should we contact? A coochie coochie coo. I've got it against my palm. <laughs> the bird! Buy my new sample pack. I actually legitimately love this. I have quite a contact mic collection, but I think next time I do need to sample something via contact mic, this is the one I'm gonna use, clearly. What's next? Oh my God. This one looks pretty rad, and Simon told me a little bit about it. It's like a solar panel, and depending on which way the switch is flipped, it will either control the pitch of an oscillator, or it will act like an expression pedal. And also, there's this USB thing where you can just, it's meant for a light, but I don't know, if you just already have this plugged into the wall, you could also charge your phone. Oh, and the big knob is like the range of expression, so you can dial that in. I've got it connected to Mutable Instruments braids here. You can ignore most of these cables because I'm working on another patch. But let's turn this volume up. And you can see, as I cover the solar panel, it changes pitch and uh, we can tune the amount of effect we want. So it's like an instant theremin, but obviously pitch is difficult to control precisely like that. So maybe if I get another melodic sequence going, I could use this to control something that doesn't have to be quite as precise, like filter cutoff or reverb amount. Now we should probably see what happens when we connect the Real quick story time before that, actually. I used to have a doll's head theremin that I bought off eBay, I think. It didn't look like this. It was a plain doll head, and I don't know which is creepier. Its eyes lit up red, which uh, it doesn't look like this one will do. These look like pretty normal eyes. Look at the staples in the back of its head. But at some point years ago when I needed some money, I sold it for 50 bucks, I think, and I've always regretted it. This one does have a whole lot of controls on it, though, which mine did not, so... Let's give it a go. Okay, so what I've gathered so far is that these switches turn on or off the uh, photovoltaic sensors. Is that what they're called? And then these knobs kind of control the pitch or the range of pitch, and then there's sort of a minor chord arpeggiation. The waveforms sound cool though. Hey look, there's a CV input. Let's make some severed baby's head acid.
So, huge shout out to Simon the Magpie for sending me all that weird, fun stuff. Go check out his channel. I also want to let you know, I just released a sample pack of over 10,000 samples created with artificial intelligence, and uh, I'll link to my video about that as well, because it's pretty crazy, that whole process. Over 10,000 samples for 10 bucks. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you on Monday with a new video. <laughs> <laughs>